This is an absolute no-win, self-torture game we play on ourselves, so stop doing it. Social media plays a big role in most people's lives today, and when you're going through a family law case like a divorce, having discretion on your postings, even your comments on other people's postings, is critical because everything lives forever on social media and a lot of it can blow up in your face if you're not careful. So I want you to look at social media as the world's largest bullhorn and imagine that everyone out there, including your spouse, will see everything you say or post. So with that in mind, here is a list of don'ts to help guide your social media activity during a divorce or other family law case. The first thing, avoid oversharing on social media during your divorce. I understand there's a desire to share updates with your online support network, I get that. But avoid oversharing intimate details of your divorce on social media. Maintain a level of discretion to protect your privacy and the privacy of others involved, including your kids and even your spouse. The second don't is to refrain from bashing your ex on social media during a divorce or other family law case. There is no way to overemphasize how important it is to resist the urge to vent your anger, your frustration, your hurts, your shattered dreams, all of that negative stuff about your spouse online. Don't do it. Negative posts not only harm your online reputation, but they will quickly escalate tensions and complicate legal matters, and it will cause you problems in your case and run up additional legal fees. I know you don't want that. Focus on promoting an amicable separation and divorce if possible, especially if children are involved. The third social media don't is to limit your social media usage during a divorce. Social media can be a breeding ground for negativity during a divorce, so consider limiting your usage to prevent constant exposure to emotion-triggering content. Maybe get off social media completely for a few weeks or a month or longer. Put some time into something else. Watch some positive YouTube videos about healing, listen to music, perhaps share your thoughts in a group text chat with your closest family and friends as a substitute to running to the social media apps. Taking this kind of a break can contribute positively to your mental well-being and your emotional healing, so do it. The fourth don't on social media is avoid comparisons of your divorce case to other people's cases. Absolutely refrain from comparing your divorce journey to others' experiences, in real life as well as on social media. Every case and every situation is unique, and you know that, but we all have this tendency to compare how well we think somebody else did to how poorly we think we did. You know, we never compare how great we did to how poorly somebody else did. This is an absolute no-win, self-torture game we play on ourselves, so stop doing it. Don't compare your progress or your challenges with others. It only leads to unnecessary stress and self-doubt. Just focus on your own healing and your own growth instead. The fifth don't is to be cautious about posting about new relationships on social media during a divorce. If you're entering into a new relationship, exercise extreme discretion about sharing the details on social media. I personally recommend not starting a new relationship during a divorce, but you need to make your own decision. And if you're going to get into a new relationship, putting that news out there about that new romantic involvement may complicate your divorce proceedings and strain your relationship with your spouse and even with your own children. And it's the kids that I worry about more than the spouse. If you follow my advice about the don'ts on social media during your divorce, I promise you that you'll avoid the pitfalls that so many people fall into, which costs them more stress, more money, and possibly that ideal outcome that they're seeking in their case. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click subscribe, like, follow, and turn on the alerts so that you'll get notified when we post our newest videos. Please share these videos and leave us some comments, ask us questions, tell us what other topics you'd like for me to talk about. Join our Facebook group at Georgia Divorce and Custody for more information. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.